Thank you very much, Dr. Porter and other organizers, for letting me put a little bit of a tip on publicity and PR and marketing into this presentation. See, what I wish uh, people would really understand about PR is that it has so much more to do with your business than just marketing and traffic and sales, although it does help with that. The most powerful part of PR is third-party validation. Uh, in today's day and age, a business that has been open on the internet for 10 days can be just as credible or look just as real as a business that's been around for 20 years. A business that has very powerful, valid tools and yet does not actually get other people to talk about those tools effectively, whether they be products or systems or procedures, can actually look less credible than a business that runs its PR properly, that gets other people to talk about them, review their products, and give uh, favorable uh, ideas and insights. And especially if you can get PR that uh, is very credible, something with a big name. You know, if you're in business and you get listed in Inc. or Forbes, then you're seen as credible. If you're in fitness and you're in men's fitness or yoga digest or something, you become far more credible. And it's because you can't pay for these things. You have to earn them that they are the last bastion of credibility in this world. And by the way, if you don't get them, then it is a, a big uphill battle to try to get credibility in today's fake news world. And I know firsthand, actually, when I started my business, one of the first things I went after was the Guinness Book of Records. I'm listed in the Guinness Book of Records from my memory, and I have a memory improvement course. Well, I did end up getting that record, and it was incredibly difficult, of course, uh, and I still hold the record to this day. Uh, and the thing that I learned about that was it was not so much my ability that got people to listen to me, but it was the credibility of that accomplishment that got people to listen to me. When I uh, had the ability to do all these great memory demonstrations, nobody cared. But when I was listed in the Guinness Book of Records, I was invited to talk to politicians, celebrities. I was going on show after show, and I leveraged that to do over 2,000 interviews in the media. Each one uh, actually improved my credibility and raised my standing to the point where we had $10 million in estimated sales worldwide. Uh, in infomercials and sponsorship campaigns and you know things like that. So all of that came from what I would like to call reputation marketing. It is the only marketing left that is really, really powerful because everyone today has been jaded. Everyone today is very skeptical. So when you're thinking about PR and you're thinking about publicity, try to think about what credibility are you aiming for and what do you really want to accomplish. And I'd also like to give you an opportunity to talk to me. Um, the most important thing you can do in publicity is to tell your story. For me, it was going from an, a kid with ADD and dyslexia to being considered, you know, one of the best memories uh, in the world and, and, you know, a big brain to boot along with a big ego probably. Um, but uh, that was my story and it was supposed to inspire other people who were in the same sort of position. But what is your story? I deal with people every single day, and one of the things that I enjoy the most is listening to what their product is, what their ideas are, and trying to figure out in a one-on-one -on -one strategy session the best possible strategy to approach the media. Because the media doesn't care that you're special. It really, uh, being in the Guinness Book of Records, for me, actually was not enough to get media attention, believe it or not. Uh, it was actually when I was able to to leverage that and turn it into a story when I was able to apply it to, say, kids in school or breakthroughs with Alzheimer's research or, you know, improving your memory uh, over summer school time or, you know, in the new year. And, and, and essentially what we do is we create all sorts of hooks and ideas for every single business out there, no matter whether you have a physical brick and mortar store that uh, is very innovative or you have a book that you're trying to get across or ideas that you're you're selling, um, or if you have a product that you want to have in every single person's hands, all of it is the same thing. We want to create a story that ties into current events. The way I like to think of it is that right now your business is kind of on your shoulders and you're walking down a dirt road carrying your business on your shoulders. Every single step you take it takes a lot of effort to kind of push your business forward to the next level. But you see a train coming along that can just jump you way ahead on the track. And that train is called the media. And they are 
barreling forward, jumping on different stories, whether they be political stories or demographic stories, talking about different generations or different trending topics in health. All of these stories, you can just grasp onto one of them connect it to your business, tie it in somehow, and that's kind of the art form that we've really mastered, but if you tie it in somehow, then that train will just propel you forward down the track because that story will take you to a new place and you'll never be back where you started because the credibility and the experience and the knowledge and and, and the, the gravitas that comes from this publicity will always put you in that new place. So what I'd like to do for everyone watching us here today is I'd like to have a, a strategy session with you. Um, anybody who's you know a qualified person who's truly interested in publicity uh, for their uh, for their business, I'll give you a twenty minute one on one strategy call at no charge where you can pick my brain and we can actually talk about your topic, talk about your angles and your stories and where it really ties into uh, the media at large and the the story going on in the world. And I, I swear, when you actually figure out how your particular business ties into current events, then it is like hitching a ride on a train and your feet aren't sore anymore because there's something else propelling your business along and it is absolutely a beautiful feeling. I want everyone to feel that. So uh, anybody who wants to take advantage of this offer, who wants to pick my brain and get a 20 minute strategy call, uh, no obligation, just uh, contact us directly. There's my email here uh, on screen uh, or you can uh, contact uh, you know uh, the, the organizers of this event uh, to find out more. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much.